here's a little about me and five easy steps. Step one, I am a repeater. So I got my net and clicks, I'm sorry, I got my nursing degree about a few, a few five months ago and I was supposed to take my NCLEX immediately after I graduated. However, I kind of jumped the gun and I was very egotistical um, because I've had previous experience working as a nurse. So I thought that being an RN um, and taking the NCLEX RN would be the next easy step because it would be a gradual uh, change. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out that way. Uh, it turns out that the NCLEX tests um, test you based on your application of nursing knowledge, not, not just how much nursing knowledge you know. And I was blind to that, so yeah. Um, I do have lots of experience. Uh, step two, the average NCLEX RN repeater only passes I think around 35% according to the um, NCSPN site. Um, it is difficult to pass the NCLEX RN exam the second, third, fourth, or fifth time. Uh, you really want to pass it the first time around, otherwise it becomes more and more difficult. There are certain reasons for that, some that people's thoughts never change, like also my, my, my way of thinking doesn't change, and uh, so I need to work on that. And that's a harder thing to do, to unlearn bad habits, than it is to just learn new nursing knowledge. And um, it's also difficult to retake the test because there's no bigger support than when you're surrounded by all your classmates. You know, it's just like taking a really hard class. Um, unless you're a whiz at online distance class, most students find it better to be physically present, uh, surrounded by classmates and an attentive teacher to give support to help you pass the NCLEX RN, but I won't be having that this time, which is why I'm doing this YouTube video, this YouTube channel. Um, I do need to pass my NCLEX RN though, I need to do it quick. Uh, fortunately, I have an LBN license, uh, I've been at LBN for almost a decade. Uh, I was also a corpsman in the military, a Navy corpsman over with the Marines, and I learned a lot of different uh, habits. I've basically been in the medical field since I was 17. Um, so for about 15 years, I've been doing nothing but medical stuff um, as a living. And so I do have a lot of knowledge, but it's not the same knowledge that, uh, that the tests are looking for. Um, so a lot of my skills also, a lot of my strengths is not just in uh, knowledge of uh, scientific facts, but also with dealing with people and soft skills like that, okay? Um, so I have a couple of nurse managers. I actually have three nurse managers that want to hire me. But they can't hire me unless I have my, my license and certification uh, as an RN. And so it's unfortunate that I had to pass, or they had to pass on me and offer the jobs to more qualified candidates because they can't offer it to me if, they, if I can't work as an RN. Three, I, my expertise and my qualifications, like I mentioned, is that I've been practicing medicine in different, um, in, in different fields. Uh, some as a, uh, a pre-hospital, kind of like a paramedic slash nurse, uh, being as a military corpsman, which is a medic for the Marines. I learned a lot of uh, very critical, very um, EMT paramedic type stuff like gunshot wounds, CPR, uh, ABCs, basically trying to help cut off circulation, and also dealing with a lot of the mental stresses that affect a lot of people who are in the military. So I learned that. And um, then after that, I got into the University of California and I studied to become a biochemist. Um, that's where I have my degree. I was hoping to go into pharmacy or maybe go to med school, but I just, I just felt tired. I'm, I'm older, I'm in my 30s, and uh, being in medical school or pharmacy school just wasn't the right fit for me. Um, I learned different ways and I prefer to be interactive with people rather than fleeting in and out and being at a far distance. I need to be by the bedside. Um, so that's just an excuse of why I want nursing, want to be a nurse, but I was also raised by a lot of really good nurses. So I feel like the nursing field is the field that I want to be in. Um, and also the field that I fit better in. Um, there's a lot of assumptions, MDs, DOs, uh, pharmacists and all that, surgeons and all that. And um, I even have my best friend who's a dentist now. And uh, 
I just fit into this category best. And it's also where my life has taken me. So I feel like 50% you have based on, oh, you know, I'm just Okay, step four. Oh, and also, I'm also in a grad, grad student program. Uh, primarily, if you've seen my earlier videos, I started off my journey as a nurse practitioner student, and I still am a nurse practitioner student. However, it's a dual degree program in which I get the bachelor's in nursing halfway through becoming a nurse practitioner. Um, NP and uh, I finished that and now I'm continuing on with the nurse practitioner program but I need to have that RN license to continue on and also to pay for my student loans a lot of my loans right now are hitting the um, are over six figures hitting like around a hundred thousand which is actually on the cheaper side of people who go to grad school and there's also a lot of stipulations where um, grad school student loans have a higher debt ratio uh, to people who don't pass and people who do pass, um, especially because a lot of our interests get higher. It, some of our student loan interests become 8%, and for me to be able to bring that down, it's good to be a working RN with a very decent solid salary range, especially here in California, for me to be able to at least start making a debt. Um, in, in my student loans. So it's very important. <laughs> Multiple reasons why I should be an RN while I'm continuing, uh, to continuing on as a nurse practitioner. So step four, what are we gonna do? What's our solution? Well, I will cover why the NCLEX is difficult for repeaters such as myself uh, with previous experience or people who just have a hard time with test anxiety or just had a bad day, you know? Um, I just want everybody to know that it's going to be great, you're going to be f fine, we're going to put in the work and we're going to pass this exam. Um, but we'll also go behind the psychology of that. And then we'll also go over nursing content. It's the foundation for being a good nurse. You have to have the nursing knowledge. But the next part of that is to be able to apply what we know. Um, you can be as book smart as you want, but you're not going to be the best nurse as you can be if you can't apply what you know in the most effective way in order to help the most people in the most effective way possible. Oh, I'll go over and collect testing questions and you'll see me fail, you'll see me pass. Um, I'm currently stuck in a certain situation right now where my studies aren't helping me out so I'm going to this new phase in my program where I'm making more videos so I can motivate myself and hopefully motivate you uh, into doing um, better either to pass an NCLEX the first time or to do it as a repeater. Why should you trust? Yeah, so you know, one of my main motivations is that there's people that want to hire me. I mean, look at me, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> but um, I do it, may come across a little bit as cocky, but um, that's just my personality. I want you to know that I am deeply, deeply, deeply committed to becoming the best nurse as possible. Um, because I want to take care of you, I want to take care of your family and all your loved ones. This is important to me. This is my life. This is my living is to help other people. Of course, it comes with a decent salary and it gives you a great sense of fulfillment to be a nurse. But I need to know that what I do is purposeful. That I am helping somebody by saving their life or making them better or even to help them come to the fact that somebody is dying or somebody's life is going to change because of grave illness or injury. Being a nurse is a, an honor to be able to be at the bedside, surrounded by the family, or one-on-one -on -one with the patient. They're very vulnerable, all of them, and it's up to you to be able to coordinate the rest of the medical team, as well as your patients and their families, and help bring up about the best outcome for your patient with all the resources that you need. Um, finally, step five, call to action. Please, 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 subscribe to my channel, Nurse Howie, and um, I'm also making a, a website and an app, and I'd like to be able to uh, access those. Those are going to be for free, and I just want to be able to help others, and I feel like this is the best way where I can feel like giving, giving something to somebody, even though I'm not able to access it on the yet. So yes, please, subscribe to me, comment to me, let me know what you want, Tell me what you think, even if you don't like it, I will do my best to accommodate you. And um, yeah, let's be friends, okay? Alright.